organizations, large and small, have teams and leaders. And the lifeblood of those two areas is feedback. And yet we're getting sloppy because we rely too much on the annual review or the 360 assessment and our technology is actually disconnecting us than creating intimate opportunities for dialogue. So I have an exercise that I've been using quite frequently that I wanted to share with you that helps strengthen this muscle around providing people honest feedback in a safe and respectful way. It goes like this. You put one person in the middle of the room sitting in a chair and everybody else on the team is in chairs in a crescent shape. And each person, one at a time, provides the person in the hot seat answers to three questions. One, this is what I really appreciate about you. Two, these are things I would like to see more of. And three, these are things I'd like to see less of. Now, I've seen executive teams really squirm at this because they get very uncomfortable having to be that vulnerable. But after you get through a couple of people, the tension levels goes down and the dialogue goes up. So I really encourage you to use this and other types of techniques to be able to get people to provide each other honest and safe and effective feedback. And I think you're going to find that the dialogue and the trust and the productivity for leaders and for teams will go up.